It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Y'all know this time I made sure I checked that camera because I was tired of the blurriness because I was not gonna keep giving y'all that foo foo quality. Do you hear me? So anyway, we are in the second week of December. I told y'all once we get to the end, this shit finna start flying. So if you are going through anything, if you're battling anything, if something is on your heart, I'm telling you right now, let it go. You have made it too far to be stressing. Let it go. Friendship, relationship, money issues, even though we need money, but baby, let it all go. All right. Now, before we get started with Messy Monday, I have to give a shout out to my friend, and that is AD. Hey, bitch. AD, I want to say thank you so much for having my post notifications on on Twitter. You were the first to comment on that post, and baby, it ain't easy. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If y'all could go over to his page, retweet him, show him some love, Talk to him, follow him. Maybe y'all can collab, make friends, reshare each other, whatever the case may be. We are a Zone Navy, and the Zone Navy sticks together. Okay? I love you so much. Thank you for appreciating me, AD. So now is my time to show you that same love. Okay, friend? Continue being great, continue being amazing, and continue being you. Hey, bitch. All right. Let's go on against y'all favorite part, baby. That is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First with the sugar honey iced tea, we have sexy red. Now, baby, all I gotta say about this is messy. Now, child, word on the curve is sexy red's alleged baby daddy went onto social media and he put out a phone call of him and sexy red and child on the phone call. She is saying that she burnt the man. Why you lie? Do all your niggas know what's going on with you? Do you tell them niggas you burning, or do you lie to them like you did me, or did you, or did you, or is you lying to them niggas how you did me? Or is you lying, or did you lie to me? Did you lie? Did you tell them the truth? Or did you tell them the truth? When you gonna keep it gangster? Hey. And when you gonna keep it gangster? When you gonna keep it gang? I, you, you bitch, bitch, you did. That's what you did. You lied to me for six months and then you told me you had that shit. I hope you got AIDS. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I know I heard her say, well, shit, if I got it, everybody got it. And I'm like, hold up, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> shit, if you got it, you gonna get that bitch. Why is you passing it around like a hot potato? Baby, this ain't the Uno reverse card. You don't get it, then give it to somebody else. That ain't how this shit works, girl. Go lay, but that ain't none of my business. So child, after he had put that out, then she comes out and she says, my friend says, shut up before she burned y'all for me. Uh, woo, child, that is a whole lot of dirtiness. And she didn't stop there. She came out with a post and delete and she said, I ain't clearing shit up. Whatever a motherfucker told y'all, believe it. I don't give a fuck. And I'm like, hold on, sir. <laughs> This stuff that you need to clear up. This man talking about you got her. Then she goes on to say, you know what? I don't care. One, it's not true. Two, y'all believe anything on this app. Now me, I kind of commend her for having an I don't give a fuck attitude because the girl do be telling us the truth because the word on the curve is she did tell us that she had chlamydia three times. Don't shoot me, shoot what was said. But she said that. So if she telling y'all, look, this ain't true, but she turned around and said, hey, I've had chlamydia before, then honey, I believe her. Because a guy that look like this. So if y'all don't know how HSV2 type one or two work, this how this shit go. You can't get rid of that shit. 
if you fuck somebody that got this shit while they having an outbreak, then you can contract it. But if you don't, you won't contract it. So for all my bitches that I put their dick on in the past or in the future, I don't got this shit and my paperwork coming up. I ain't, cause I could buck some paperwork. I ain't no faking ass nigga. If I get on her and tell y'all that, y'all know I ain't gonna tell y'all no lies on my daughter. If I had this shit, I'd wear it on my chest. Fuck you talking about young boy got this shit. He ain't doing no faking. He ain't doing no faking on my daughter. But I'm gonna buck some new paperwork for y'all so y'all know this shit real deal. And I was trying to like put out, put this shit together before I came. And put it in y'all face like that, boy. I'm finna put this shit together for y'all. Just hold on. Give me one second. Sir, it's hard to trust you. You got brackets with no wires in your mouth. Come on. Like, we supposed to listen to you? You don't even have all 24 brackets. Why you got the front but not the side? What's going on? And then, I mean, where's the proof? I need the paperwork. Where's the paperwork with you not having before you met her and then having it after you met her? If you want to be famous, just say that. Hello? on you and your bullshit. And has anybody else wondered why they keep calling him alleged baby daddy? Either you the baby daddy or you not the baby daddy. Why is that alleged baby daddy? I don't even know what at this motherfucking point. Who the baby daddy? And aren't you the same nigga that tried to expose her with the sex video? This is over with. You know what? Whatever the case may be, if she got it, she got it. She don't, she don't. I mean, she even out here with a lip gloss, STD, yellow discharge. You knew what the fuck you was walking into. If it ain't about me, you got the S T D. Next case. Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Tusi and Survivor J. Now, y'all, these two are so internet to me. Like, why bring the shit to the internet? You fuss, make up, fuss, make up. I hate her. She get on my nerve. Ooh, he just this. He too sassy. He just no good and disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. I do this shit every goddamn time just to turn around and motherfucking be with each other. Leave us the fuck out of it. Hey. So, Tootsie is up going on live, and when he was on live, he said this. These girls out here, they don't even want to get up and go get it. You hear me? They just want you to, like, they want that to fall in their lap. They ain't got no hustle. They don't want to get up, go get that money, chase that bag, no nothing, man. They want to sit on their suck, barely do, barely suck. Barely know how to suck and think you just finna buy these, buy them all type of bitch. No, man. She want the new Kelly that come out. She want the motherfucking Chanel, the Sheen, the motherfucking, the, the, the wait a minute. It's crazy. These hoes expensive, man. And I ain't got it. I ain't, I don't got it. My baby mom still sending me Christmas, uh, whatchamacallit. What's the name of that shit? Christmas list. I ain't got it for you, baby. Bro, it's an evil world we living in. What, what bro say? It's an evil world we living in. Now, if you knew you weren't gonna give none of these hoes no birthday gift, no nothing, no whatever the case may be, why the fuck would you tell us anyway? We don't give a fuck what you gonna give nobody. If you ain't giving us shit, nigga, then we don't give a fuck what you giving. And baby, that's when Samara J come out. And she said the last Christmas list I sent out was 15 years ago and I believe in Santa Claus. Now, everybody like, what the fuck going on? So he talking about his baby mama that she must have sent him a list. So that's when he go and he goes this and everybody like, oh, so you lied. You sat here and said the last time you sent the list out was 15 years ago you leave the Santa Claus. So why did you text this to him? And she goes and she say, oh, bitch, you missed it. So baby, that's when the fans go crazy. And they was like, well, baby, we was on live and you said you ain't got it. So another fan was like, well, you said she could have whatever she liked, but then when she said she want this, you said you can't do it. So baby, he come out and he say, no, they chopped up the live video. What I said was, my baby mama still sending me a Christmas list. I ain't got nothing for you. Now, to me, that make it seem like he said he ain't got nothing for her because how you worded it is how we took it. But what he said he meant was, she sitting here to listen to everything she want ain't gonna have him enough money left over to get something for you, which is the hoes that's asking him, hey, Tootsie, can you send me this? Hey, Tootsie, can you send me that? Hey, Tootsie. So, child, the people start kicking. That's when Samara J come out and she shows the rest of the text message. She said, first of all, I sent this to the whole family. It was a secret Santa. Now, I don't know if he's included in her family's secret Santa 
Because to me, why would you send him y'all secret Santa list if he's not a part of it? But I'm assuming he is. So I don't know, girl. She made it seem like he was being messy. Because why would you say you messy if he really ain't messy? But y'all know what's going on. They knew what the fuck they was doing. They knew how they was delivering that and how the people were going to take them. Then they want to get mad when people put their two cents in it. But if you never want to put the one cent out, we couldn't have added the two. They need to just go find some dick, both of them. And lo and behold, what did I tell you? Here they go. You love mommy? And say, I love my baby mom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. And say, ain't no girl in the world better than my baby mom. And there's no girl in the world better than my baby mom. Um, the only girl I ever love in my life is my baby mom. And the only girl in the world I'll ever love is my baby mom. Say it like you mean. And I mean it. Alright, have a good day. Say my baby mama me. No, it's my mom. You know what? Embarrassing. Just get on my fucking nerve. Just get on my fucking nerve. Who they just act like two little spoiled bitches? Okay, if it ain't about me. Can I send you my wish list to see? <laughs> Next game! Next for the shit on the iced tea, we have Matt P and his son Percy. <laughs> Shame of yourself. This is your children, and you got your you got your children out here doing this crazy shit. Word on the curve. Master B's son and a few of his college sports friends were allegedly arrested and got in trouble for stealing some refrigerators. I guess they out here hustling because the daddy won't get in no money. You already heard what Romeo. and got in trouble and at first I was thinking because the headlines made it seem like he was still in refrigerators by himself and I'm like well god damn do y'all know how heavy a refrigerator is nigga that's some dedication you out here stealing a whole refrigerator for a piece of coin he was probably gonna sell a car for that <laughs> yo that car will take that cop will get you a cute piece of coin. <laughs> Can I get a amen? So, honey, the prosecutors are trying to get the felony charges dropped. But I'm over here thinking, like, where is the friends at? Because this whole minute, they get locked up too, or just him? You know what? Master P put the drop on that. <laughs> and they all informant. And what kind of name is Hersey? Lord! Lord have mercy. Got that child up there look like he a auntie dressed up in somebody's church. Look, baby, if you need a refrigerator, come, come on over to my house. I'll take you to my mama. They got about three in the garage and one in the house. And if you want mine, you can have mine. It's, shit, I got a little small cubicle one if you need that one. You out here in the refrigerator. Well. I ain't got to do with it, child. Good luck to him. If it ain't about me, Lord have mercy on her seat. Next case. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Ray J. At this point, y'all, I don't know what's going on. What is going on with the celebrities, but they are. They need to just go take a vacation. They need to chill. They need to breathe. And they need to relax. I think the year's just trying to wrap it up. So, Ray J, after. He had accused somebody from trying to kill him. It's just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me. Nigga. And you want me to apologize? Nigga? Fuck you. Now he's saying weeks after somebody vandalized his car. What I want to do to me? I got car seats inside, for real. That's what it's come to. You know what I'm saying? For what I'm trying to do. And you know I know. Like, I know. Like, okay. All right. Kim got a hit on you because that, 
Now, I know y'all over there thinking it's the Diddy Boys, but they got shit going on themselves. And if you really want to be real, look at this. Now, Ray J, I'm not the smartest one in the bunch, okay? But I ain't stupid. The way you pulled that window back, <laughs> nigga, you sat in that car seat and kicked that window out just like this. You said, <laughs> got that caramel, turned it on, and want us to believe somebody, nigga, ain't nobody after you. Ray, Ray J, you out here acting like Orlando Brown. Now, I know, you know what? <laughs> At this point, I don't know what to be no more. From him pulling that window down like an Easy Bay oven child. <laughs> I don't know who one, two GD's coming for you. I, I, I don't know. Shout out Ray J. Look, sis, all I can tell you is to use that one wish to ask God to get you up out of this shit. If it ain't about me, you better call your sister who be hitting both named Brandy. Next game. Next one is Shagani Ice T. We have Big Baby. Now, before I play this video, to me, it is a little traumatizing. It made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. And it could be a trigger for some people because I just, I don't know, something didn't sit right with me when I looked at this video. It was just her body language. And yes, as she has now told the world, she is battling cancer. She's been having treatment. And I do know, you know, after chemo and those radiations and the procedures, you do get weak. Your body does get a little fragile and frail, whatever the case may be. But besides that, something wasn't right. One kid, and we're gonna have, how many more? Two. When? After my treatment. What treatment? After my medicine. Ooh. Ooh. We gotta wait till after my medicine. Two more? But I want 10 kids. Ah. Two down, eight to go. You still have more anybody? <laughs> Daddy makes some pretty babies. Now, I don't know about y'all, but in the comments, didn't that give you very much hostage? And when she sat there and said, I gotta get over my treatments first, or whatever the case may be. He said, what treatments? Nigga, I know the fuck you lying. I know you lying. That's your whole baby mama, your girlfriend, and she telling you that she had to have treatments and she has cancer, and you don't even know what cancer treatment she's going through and what medication she's on. At this moment, all you could worry about is yourself and what you want, 10 children, and her body is fighting off a sickness and you want her to push out children that takes over your body? You selfish, inconsiderate, self-centered son of a bitch. She should have spit in your face right then and right there. How the fuck could you down? And not only that, she told us publicly that she is battling cancer. So if you really think about it, how long has she had it and how long has he known? Because if you known and she's had it for a minute, you've been beating her and you've been cheating on her while she had cancer. Nigga, you need to burn in the bottom of the pit of fucking hell. You son of a bitch. Now the word on the curb is the Bible said, honor thy mother and thy father so your days on this earth shall be longer. And that's all the girl was saying. I'm not the one to gossip, but. Next! If it ain't about me, let's get key. Next case! Next with the Sugar Ice Tea, we have Tokyo Tony versus Chloe. Babe, when I tell you Tokyo don't give a fuck. Who she attacked? She attacked Nicki Minaj. She attacked Beyonce. She attacked Cardi B. And baby, one thing she gonna always do is attack them Kardashians. And I commend her for that because everybody else act like they scared to attack them because they supposed to be the upper elite. If you know, you know. So, Chloe had went onto her Instagram post and mind you, a fan had said something under there about her being out doing whatever she was doing while Tokyo was out here feeding the homeless. So Chloe gonna respond back. She's like, hey, I have no problem with people doing whatever they do, but it's just not my thing to, you know, exploit what I do for somebody when they're at their lowest. Tokyo saw that and this is what she had to say. Dear Chloe, I'm the one who gave my daughter 
the papers that your mother tried to swipe our grandchild out of everything she could ever, ever own. I'm the one who did it. Let's tell that part. Yeah. Let's not forget again that time you brought the old, the, 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 the homeless man to your house, girl. You brought the homeless man to your mom. Was that a movement? But it sounds like you you said you you don't do that. You put him on TV too. You are a homeless case. You came out your mother's ass. That's why your hair is brown. You wondered. Now you know. Oh, since you want to stir up the pot. I'll take a lie detector. Do a food drive or I'm snitching. On your ass. This lady this is stupid. Do a food drive. Let me see you whip up some macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's a, that's a surname. Ma'am. Whip up a little rice and some... some some green medley with it. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Some fried chicken or bait. You can put your apron on. You can be pink. You can, you can put a, 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 a Versace hair bow on and everything. Get outside and do something. I'm going to save you this time. I'm, I'm going to break you. I'm, 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 not, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to let it go any further than this. I got shit to do. I want to pull up on you. Say when I get there, I'll say she may seem like she crazy, but she be speaking facts. If she could just deliver her words like she could without all the antics, she will make a whole lot of sense. Because if you really pay attention, Chloe, you you lying son of a bitch. Because you out here talking about she filming herself feeding the hungry or whatever the case may be in the homeless, these people at their low. Chat, like she said, you had that homeless man in your house, filmed him on TV for everybody to see, the world to see. And you want to talk about her putting on her Instagram. And not only that, bitch, Lamar, when he was on his drugs, you put all that on social media and on the TV show while he was at his lowest. Bitch, if you don't shit, the fuck up talking to me. Girl, the girls, I always want to see how they so holier than now and forget all the bullshit they do. You was throwing shade. Just say you was being shady and that's all it fucking was. You could have looked over that comment and kept it pushing. But you wanted that attention and now that you got it, now you want to play victim like y'all always fucking do. Y'all sit here and let these women, those women, so hush. If you know, you know. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Skates! Next with Chick Honey Ice Tea, we have Kaznat and Gigi. Now, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. We're gonna keep it cute and keep it moving, but don't say I didn't tell you so. Now, remember back when Kayla got into that argument with Gigi and the whole situation in the house and they was about to fight and all that good stuff. Yeah, y'all know when Deshay was in that car and they was mixing and mingling, they said them names. Girl, let me hush. What it looks like. That might not have been just a little kiki. It might be some truth to that kiki. Because now Kai and Gigi are out in Turks enjoying a nice little vacation. And don't get me the line, it's just the word on the curb and that's what the curb is saying. You know, he real proud about who he go with and that's why he didn't want sexy red homegirl dancing on him. Not because she smelt no type of way. It's because he got a girlfriend and he want to keep that shit where it's supposed to stay. Undercover. Because once all these folks start getting to their business, it can mess up what they got. Y'all better follow this. Follow the camera to real try to tell y'all. You know he was gassing them up about them TikTok. You know what? Let me mind my business because I ain't finna get involved. If it ain't about me, Kasanat, go with GG. Next case. All right, that's all I have for the Shikani Ice Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the docket, we got Run and Racing. <laughs> Bitch, I told you so. And to all you little bald head helpers that was in the comments, I wanna just, I 
told you so. Because y'all was like, no, no, no. You just, oh my God, he's hurt. He's really leaving. He's been a lot of that. He said he ain't going there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Girl, shut the fuck up. I do this shit. I knew that man wasn't going nowhere. And I told y'all this shit was because the motherfucking views was low. Going from one million to only having a hundred something thousand on a video, I knew what the fuck was going on. That's why they never told y'all what the fuck happened. That's why they never said who did what, what did what, how what went down and how it started and who, girl, I already fucking knew what the fuck was going on. And if you really want to be real about the situation, now they coming out with this little stupid ass Gender revealing the snow. They probably gonna name the damn child Snow if you ask me. Cause what's the other one? Savior, Shine, and now fucking Snow. <laughs> fucking Snow. Cause if, if, if you pray to them and she already showing, that means it's gotta be a couple of months. So you already knew when y'all was having that situation that she was already goddamn pregnant. And you put this shit on your dead sister. I guess he did that because no, no, she dead anyway, so can't nothing happen to her. Because if you put someone on a dead person, at least he didn't put it on his mama or somebody. God forgive me, I'm sorry, but you don't put shit on your dead sister. On my dead sister, I ain't going back. I'm done with this. Bitch, you know what? Shut the fuck up. And I told y'all when I saw them together, I knew what the fuck was going on. And when she put him in that room and they said what they said, y'all like, oh, you can really see it in his face that he really is, he's really don't want to be there. And she got him to. Nigga, they playing that shit. They influencers. Piss me off. Now, y'all come in. The word on the curb is every time that you start to go low, Miss Mama's get pregnant. Ah! Score. Don't get me lying. But that's what the curb is saying. I don't know. Y'all can go back and do your research if you want to, but that's what the girls are saying. Now, child, I ain't the one to be messy, but. <laughs> If she did allegedly do what everybody thinks she did, then she better have gave that man a child. That's the only way you was gonna keep him sis was getting pregnant. But I'm telling y'all, this shit was bullshit. It was fake. Because if she's showing now, how, cause she couldn't have got pregnant then. I don't know. She couldn't, did she cheat while she was pregnant? Oh, you. Dirty bitch. You let somebody. And that's why he. That's it. She probably did cheat while he, she was pregnant. That's why he was so hurt and wanted to leave. Because he knew she was pregnant. And how dare you cheat on me while you got my baby in you. But he can't leave because now there's an attack. Oh. Because I don't even know why they even sat down and had this whole conversation. It wasn't even needed. At this point, y'all just pulling shit out your ass just to get views. Because y'all should have let that shit motherfucking go. Y'all telling us too much of shit that we don't even need to know about. If this happened, if she was pregnant, and this, this, that, and whoop, whoop, whoop. Y'all was young back then. Y'all made dumb mistakes. Okay, let it the fuck go. But bringing it back up now just for your own personal benefit. Because y'all want to have therapy in front of us. Bitch, we don't give a fuck. Like you, you saying your life is better without me when you the reason why we, you know? Okay. Exactly. So that's what that's when I made the video back to you, and then you just panicking and you just post the other. Shit. And I was just like, bitch, it's down. Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna get to oh, that. Yeah, okay, yeah. 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 <laughs> but the only reason why I posted the video was because, bro, you was going live every day. But you not gotta understand. Day, but you was going live every day talking about me, and I'm just like, I'm like, I'm not doing nothing to him. I'm not doing nothing like. It's like you wanted them to hate me. People didn't even know who was broken up. 
I'm sorry about everything. Nah, I'm sorry about everything. No, too, I apologize. Yeah, I apologize about everything too. that happened in the relationship. Chat, Justin didn't used to abuse me. They don't, they don't, do people think that? For real? I mean, I don't know. I'm just clearing that up. You felt like it was paying to date me? Yes, I told you that. But, but remember I would tell you to talk to your mom about the contract? I'd be like, tell her if she can get me off of that. I had my own money. Like, everything I had, my jewelry, my car, everything I had before. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But they gave me ultimatum. Like, you feel me? Like, you know, I want somebody with my, with my daughter that does better than what you're doing as far as, like, what you do. And I'm just like, you know, I respect that. If you can... Show me like okay, it makes the same amount. I do it, you know. So you know, she showed me and we did it. I'm like, we did. Yeah. I, I I definitely feel you. Yeah, no. Like definitely. if you if you were a girl uh -huh. and you were pregnant, uh -huh. you're getting attached to the kid. Yeah. All this you low key don't even want to do it, but you're gonna do it because you, you don't want to bring the kid into a broken home. You don't have no, you like my mom didn't even know I was not a virgin around this time. Yeah. Like she didn't know nothing. Yeah. So it's like. I'm asking you, I'm like, what, like, what do I do? Remember, I, I, I was on the phone too. I was at the clinic, mm -hmm. and they like, they want like, twelve hundred for mm -hmm. the, the abortion. I didn't remember you said no, but yeah. Yeah, remember? No, I remember you said like the operation or something. Yeah. No, they said twelve hundred. Around that time, it was just, it was bad for me, like mentally, physically, yeah. emotionally. I felt like. All yeah, days, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I feel like I, I wasn't there. You feel me? I was, I wasn't there. And that's just, you know, I have my own feelings about it that, you know, but like, you right, like, for like if somebody definitely like, you know, is pregnant, like, you should definitely like, put that above, like, what you going through. I didn't cut his hair, chat. So, why'd I cut your hair? <laughs> we did a bit, bro. But you cut, but you did f my sh** up, though. You cut my sh** way too low, though. And after all that, I could have told y'all he was lying and she was lying. Because that's what the both they fucking did. They both lied. He lied, she lied. And when it was both lying, they didn't come back and clear up shit. They let y'all believe what y'all wanted to believe, which was delusional, which made all of y'all make them mad at each other, y'all bashing each other. But one thing about it is... One person said one was an abuser, which could have got somebody in jail, and then the other one was talking about cheating. So, baby, you know what the fuck. Child, you know what. And do you wish you still kept the baby? Sometimes. I think you gotta say yes or no. Yeah. Truthful. Mm. Mm. Would you ever get back with Justin? No. Truthful. When you guys were together, did you want the baby with Brooklyn? Yeah. Truthful. Did you ever date Brooklyn again in the future? No. Ten years from now? No. Truthful to both. I might have a feeling they're gonna get back together because now they're over here cooking shit together. <laughs> you know what? If y'all want to be toxic, just say that. Because one thing you don't do is sit down with your ex. Because when you do that... <sighs> y'all are talking about, Oh, they look good together. I hope they work things out. What the fuck? What? I don't know what the fuck y'all want to do. Y'all just out here doing whatever the wind do. But if the wind blow that way, you go. If the wind blow that way, you go. If the wind don't even blow, bitch, you just sitting still looking stupid until something happens. You know the fuck what? Jay, come home. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, it looks like they done rekindled. They're good now. I hope they don't backtrack because it's not worth it. They both just need to just leave it where it was at and let it go. Because all Brooklyn do is lie and change her hair. If it ain't about me, let's get in this case. Next to the docket, we got Tia versus... Tokyo Tony. <laughs> this is a fight I wouldn't mind seeing because, baby, one thing about it, Tia know how to cuss cuss, but I feel like Tokyo know how to fight fight because she from the DMV. Now, to everybody who was lost with this whole situation, like, where the fuck this come from? Because we never know <laughs> where Tokyo's arguments come from. It's like, who is she arguing with? Why is she arguing? And where did it come from? Well, what happened was Tia was on Tasha K's podcast. And while she was on there, she had mentioned if another season came out and 
Tokyo was on it, she didn't want to be a part of it. It started circulating, Tokyo saw it, and that's when Tokyo said what she had to say. Somebody call that skinny ass Tia Kemp over here. I'ma wait before I go eat. Somebody tell Tia Kemp fake nothing, dirty sucking that nobody come in. Cause when I see you, I'ma smack the out you bitch. Make sure somebody passed that. Man, this this the fakest shit I've ever dealt with. Wow. Now when Tokyo said what she had to say, that's when Tia came out and baby all oh, hell broke loose. Tokyo Tony. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt all fucking year. Turn that shit down a little bit, please. Let me tell your walrus chief something. I ain't your motherfucking daughter. You ain't gonna put your hands on no money. You sat on the couch with me for over a month. You knew better, bitch. What's your mental problem today? You just on the phone with me the other night, need motion. You and Kalissa. I told Kalissa I don't want to with you. I've been trying to give you the benefit of the doubt for the longest. You silly. That's my Newport Facebook five dollar freaking going live and begging this bitch. Girl, don't play with me. I'm, I'm up on your when I see you, Tony, because I don't play with her like, her, like you. I'm a up on you, bitch. I should have thought this woman a newborn. Warranty? <laughs> Baby, one thing about it, y'all can have a rap beef. That is the real beef. Bitch, if one person that can keep up with Tokyo's cussing is Tia, bitch, you know the fuck what. Everybody need an auntie like Tia. But, baby, let me leave this alone. I couldn't even pay attention anyway because I was too distracted by, by Tokyo's bullshit and buddy that she had. Uh, girl, if it ain't about me, let's get key next game. Next in the docket, we got Jacinto and Bella. Bella, let me just tell you something, baby. Shut up. <laughs> Please, shut up. Uh, and go lay. Because at this point, you are a stalker. How do you break up with somebody and you still check on what the fuck they doing? If this man is out here having a whole video conversation, date night, whatever the case may be with Brooklyn, then bitch, let him have that. Leave it alone. It's your fault anyway. You shaded both of the Brooklyn. And then on top of that, you thought Jay was going to be a trick. And baby, he dipped on you and you gagged it. The tea. And you ain't got no say so on any motherfucking thing, baby. You was here for two minutes and then you was dismissed. Hello? Make me cry. Don't make me cry. She at his house is crazy. Let's build a gingerbread house. I'm with all that corny shit. <laughs> girl, girl, what? <laughs> I know. I am that girl, baby. We good over here. I'm just eating it up. Crying on live, yeah. I've just been crying all day. I've just been crying on live. What y'all mad at me for? Y'all, my friends, <laughs> I wanna address this. My friends are not the reason why I'm not in a relationship, okay? I wanna make that clear. They are not the reason why I'm not in a relationship. I wish that wasn't brought up, but they're not the reason why. My friends are not bitter, okay? Those have been my girls since for years, okay? That's another thing, y'all. <laughs> nah, one of y'all is really a bird brain, did some bird brain shit because who made a fake page talking about telling him he's broke? <laughs> y'all are wicked. Like, nobody said that. <laughs> it never gave broke. It never gave broke, okay? It never gave broke. But y'all funny for that one. I'll give it to y'all. I don't feel any type of way about it. It's not personal. Y'all want me to be bitter and mad, but girl, it's not personal. And I don't take it personal. And then how you gonna shade somebody who was there before you anyway? And on top of that, how all that smacking with your gum? I can see if you had chewing gum in your mouth, but all that little extra bullshit you doing is just annoying me. And then if you wanna be real, you never even defended him, child, or spoke good on that man. But then you wanna sit here and defend your two friends. Bella just knew she fumbled a good one, honey. That's all it is. Girl, sometimes it's good to stay silent. Because if you unbothered, you ain't got to say that. Helpful. If it ain't about me, let's get in it. Hey! All 
All right, that's all I have for Messy Monday. Um, make sure you always tune in every Monday for Messy Monday. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Y'all mean so much to me. Without y'all, Messy Monday would be nothing. Um, like I always say, God only made one you, and if you don't be you, then nobody else will. And until then, I will see you next Monday. Next case. A whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on.